There we go, the machine. I don't have it all timed out. A few little changes to make, but this is its first time out. I'm actually using Arduino. Um, the interface for the Arduino. Um, we're just using a COM port to send the serial commands through the USB. So here's the controller I'm using. So if you look, you see the G0 command. Um, Y axis 320. It's going to move all the way to the back. And I am going to try and set it up where you can see it. And I'm sending it now. There you go. Now to bring it back, I would just obviously set it back to G0, uh, Y, um, 0. G0. Come back Y. This case sensitive. When we draw back, Y0. It should come forward. There we go. And obviously Y0 is going to be further up, but I've got to make some adjustments in the drives so I can get those, uh, that Y axis further forward. I don't know, fucking good. Uh, still got a lot to do. I'm not even half done yet, but it's starting to get there. It's pretty cool. I want to show you all something real quick. Some modifications I made in the configuration file on the board. Um, I'll bring it up here real quick. Go ahead and close that out. Close Arduino. So we're we'll going to the configuration for that drive. Go into the config. Now I'm actually in, it doesn't look like it, but I'm actually in a smoothie board. Um, in, for the USB, it sees it as a removable drive. So we're going to open the config file right here. Sorry for the video. So what I did was, I went into the config because I'm running, I'm using the um, extruder one and I'm using the Y axis. I'll show you in a second how I did that. I actually put jumpers between the Y axis and extruder one, but in order to do that, I had to come down here. Um, you've got your alpha, beta, which is obviously your uh, X, Y, and Z. These boards are made a little bit, software's written a little bit different, excuse me. You can see the extruder, see that? 23.22.21 that would be where that would extruder would be normally those would be the pins on the uh, processor but what I've done is if you notice I've commented those pins out so this processor is not talking to that uh, stepper driver I'm actually talking to that stepper driver with the Y axis um, and I'll show you here in a second let me pause the video and I'll flip the machine up so you can see the um, jumpers that I put in So if you look here, um, you can see some jumpers right here. So what I'm doing is this is my y-axis and this is also my second y-axis stepper. So I actually have put some jumpers right here. Um, I didn't use the ground, obviously I didn't need to because you know it's obviously part of the ground plane. Um, if you were gonna run external stepper drivers, like I'm getting ready to set up for my, um, my uh, one of my, uh, in place Z uh, not Z but my axis motor for that or I may come down here and use that second extruder I haven't made up my mind yet uh, the reason I've got that that four amp stepper in here is I was planning on driving both of the the Y's off of that and I'm pulling off this board and I realized hey I don't need to do that so I can put that on one of my other machines we'll see how that goes but there's no point in uh, stressing on this all you gotta do is just go in and you can use any of these other axes um, X uh, extruder zero and extruder extruder one if you can see them down here just put you some jumpers in there um, but don't forget to turn off the um, configuration for that extruder um, I'm planning on probably trying to use this E0 right here for my um, pick and place rotation for my uh, my axes we'll see how that turns out other than that, it's starting to, start to come together. Um, I bought this old machine at the flea market. The base was a CD pick-and-place duplicator. As you can see, it has the pump here. 
that I'm going to wire in next. I'm going to use one of the uh, the FETs off this board controller that I normally use to control the, uh, the heated bed or something like that. But I definitely have the current, which is pretty cool. I've got the uh, power supply, the AT power supply that came with it. So we're getting along, starting to make progress. Thanks for watching.